Uh, hey everybody, back again. Uh, gonna do a grilled uh, pork chop tonight. So, gonna fire up the grill. Get it preheated. All right, running out of daylight, so, but should be able to get it in. All right, grill's going. We're gonna head back inside and uh, we'll get the pork chop ready. All right, back inside. Just gonna get my pork chop that I um, bought the other day. I got two, so. And hopefully they're pretty thick. I told them I want some of the thicker ones. Eh. They're medium size. There you go. Nice big pork chop. I'm gonna go with that one tonight. This one can go in the freezer. All right, I just want to get some seasoning on it. Salt and pepper, little Cajun mix. Whatever you, again, you know, hear me say I raid my uh, spice cupboard. Make sure you guys can see it. There you go. All right, just, just like a little Montreal mix. I like a little Cajun flavor for my pork. Kind of like a, you know, you could do barbecue sauce, dry rub. Always a little salt. And I use, just use sea salt. And Fresh pepper. All right, we're in the, waiting on the grill to heat up. I got some sides in the oven. Uh, so we'll go back outside in a few minutes and fire this thing up. All right, back outside, grill's hot. So um, we're gonna get the pork chop on and start grilling. I like my pork like uh, medium, so probably only uh, maybe 10 minutes total for this one. So let that grill a little bit and uh, We'll be back in a few minutes. All right, back outside. It's been on the grill for um, a couple of minutes. Just gonna let it go for a little bit more. I'm losing some daylight out here, so I'll try to work off my floodlights. Nice night, but stuck in the winter zone here. Woke up this morning with like three inches of snow, two inches of snow. It was annoying. All right, we'll be back in a few minutes and uh, check out the pork chop again. All right, we're back. Getting, good, getting ready to get this thing, give us a flip or a turn. So you want the grill mark, you just do a quarter turn. Let our heart part of the grill and close the lid and let it go. It's probably a little less than halfway there. I like my pork a little like medium. I mean, obviously, you gotta cook it through, but you can cook it like medium well or so. Not too well done. Also, I, I find it tends to dry out. So, all right, we'll be back again in a few minutes. All right, back in. I was just inside checking on the uh, the sides in the oven. They're just about done. There you go. There's the lighting's off, but about halfway done. Grill the other side up, and uh, we'll be eating in a couple minutes. We'll be back. Cheers. All right, last final check. Give it a little turn. It's probably just about medium right now. I got my plate in the oven heating up. So we're gonna come right back, uh, take this thing off the grill and head back inside. Okay, back. Uh, pork chop's done. Gonna take it off the grill. I got my plate, put my plate in the oven so it's warm. You know, hot food, hot plates. It's my uh, rule, right? Let the pork rest for, I don't know, two or three minutes. And then uh, leave it good and tender, nice medium pork. All right, gonna head back inside. All right, back inside. Got the um, pork chop. Looks feels perfect. Just about good medium. More medium well. Obviously, you don't want a, two of an undercooked pork. I got my sides. A little extra. Um, actually, I've left over both mac and cheese and mashed potatoes, so this should be good. Had a little barbecue on Sunday. 
for my birthday. My mom, my mom was over. I'm gonna work on my camera angles. We'll get there. So we watched um, barbecued and then watched the Masters. Looks good. All right, I got some carrots, I got some rolls, and there you go. Another barbecue show, TK. All right, cheers, guys. I'll put this up and uh, be back again. Cheers.